everyone. I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the feathers cowl, which you can see here in front of you. Now this is a super plush and cozy cowl. Today I will be making it using the Scarfy Yarn by Lion Brand Yarn. This is a wool blend yarn that is bulky weight. You're going to need almost the entire ball for this cowl, uh, which is about 300 yards. The cowl is sized to fit an adult with a little bit of drape. If you would like to change the size, I'll provide the stitch multiples later on in the video. You're also going to need a 6 millimeter, 6.5 millimeter crochet hook and a copy of the free written pattern, which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. Direct links for all of these items can be found in the description. Thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe. Take a look around. There's some other cowls here. There's also patterns for a matching beanie uh, and ear warmer if you're interested. Our pattern today is worked in rounds. So we're going to start by working a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain of 90 chains. If you would like to change the size of your cowl, you're simply going to need any even number of stitches. Once you have your foundation chain worked, without twisting that chain, you're going to join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. I like to join into the back bumps uh, of my chain stitches simply because I like the look of the opposite side, but it's all personal preference. You can join in any uh, loop you'd like. So you're just joining with a slip stitch into that first stitch. You're then going to chain one and for round one half double crochet into that first stitch and then half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come around to your first stitch join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of row one, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. Do not turn your work and chain one. Now for rounds two, three, and four, we're going to work rounds of half double crochet stitches. Just this time we're going to be working in the third loop. To find your third loop, you're going to yarn over Pull your work forward and looking at the back of your stitches, you'll see a loop running alongside just below your top loop. This is your third loop. So half double crochet into it and the same for each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and then repeat for two more rounds. Meet me back here at the end of round four. At the end of round four, you've joined with a slip stitch in your first stitch. You have your three rounds of half double crochets in the third loop. We're now going to work a row or round that will set us up to work our feather stitch texture. So for round five, we're going to chain one, continue working in the same direction, do not turn, and you're going to half double crochet into the first stitch. We're working under both loops now in the tops of our stitches. Chain one, skip the next stitch, and half double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip the next stitch, and half double crochet into the next. You're going to repeat this all the way around. At the end of round five, you're going to chain one, 
and now join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round six, we're going to begin working some of our feather stitch texture. So what we're going to do to begin round six is chain one, do not turn your work, and work a half double crochet into that same stitch as joining. You're then going to begin working your feather stitches. To work your first feather stitch, yarn over, into the next chain one space, insert your hook, yarn over, and draw up a loop. Yarn over, now working over top of that same chain one space and into the stitch down below, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain one space, yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll have seven loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all seven. Chain one and you're going to work your next feather stitch. This time you're going to begin in the same chain space as the stitch you just worked. So yarn over, insert your hook into that same chain space, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch two rows below working over top of that chain one space, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain one space, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through all seven loops on your hook. You're now going to continue to work these feather stitches all the way around. And uh, once you come to the end of your round, meet me back here and I'll show you how and where to work your final feather stitch. And uh, that will bring you to the end of round six. At the end of round six, when you come around, you'll have worked your final feather stitch here. Uh, you may feel like you have a bit of a gap there, but just leave that be because we're going to work in it when we turn around here. So you're simply going to chain one after your final feather stitch and join with a slip stitch into your half double crochet. Chain one, turn your work, we're now going to work a total of 11 more rounds. So this is rounds seven through to 17 uh, of um, feather stitches. So you're going to start round seven by working a half double crochet into that first stitch. And then your first feather stitch. Your first feather stitch is going to be worked into this next chain one space. This time when you're working the feather stitches you're only working into the chain one spaces and not into the stitches. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain one space, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook into the chain one space two rows below, yarn over, draw up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain one space, yarn over, draw up a loop with seven loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all seven. Being careful not to lose your yarn as I just have. So I'm going to work it again, just quickly here. There we go and chain one. You're going to continue working your feather stitches all the way around so yarn over into the same chain one space into the chain one space two rows below into the next chain one space and work a feather stitch. Repeat that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into your top of your half double crochet stitch 
chain one and turn, half double crochet in that first stitch, and uh, then work your feather stitches all the way around. So continue to repeat that round six until you have a total of 12 rounds of feather stitches that will bring you to the end of your round 17 and then meet me back here. At the end of your round 17, this is what your work is going to look like. You've joined with a slip stitch into the top of the half double crochet. At this time, there's no need to turn your work. What we're going to do is we're going to work one round of half double crochet stitches beginning with your first stitch, half double crochet into that same stitches joining. Then you're going to half double crochet into each chain stitch and each feather stitch all the way around. So I'm not working into the chain one spaces. I'm working right into that chain stitch. So you'll work one half double crochet into each feather stitch and each chain stitch all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. When you're working these stitches you do want to make sure that the right side of your work is facing. Okay, So half double crochet each, each stitch and chain stitch all the way around and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 18, you're joined with a slip stitch into your first stitch. We're then going to chain one, and just as we did down at the bottom, we're going to work three rounds of half double crochet stitches into our third loop. So pull your work forward, looking at that third loop, insert your hook and work a half double crochet. So working in the third loop, half double crochet in each stitch all the way around and then join in the top with a slip stitch in your, when you come back to your first stitch. You're going to work three rounds of half double crochet stitches in the third loop and then meet me back here. At the end of your round 21, this is what your cowl looks like. You're going to fasten off and then weave in your ends and your cowl is complete. So that's all there is to working the feather stitch cowl. Thank you. Uh, or the feathers cowl. Thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.